Hey everybody, and welcome back to the saddest game on planet Earth. My name's Sadie McSatterson, and today we're gonna cry some more over Pierre's relationship. Just kidding, it's Sunday, which means it's a story event, and we're doing something we're uncomfortable with. Yeah! Day 56. And, before we do anything else, no new messages. That's good. That's very, very good. Um, where's my mouse? There's my mouse. Okay, the bullhead is landing. Alright, it begins. Are you nervous, Wilson? Just a bit. We're not exactly master conversationalists, are we? But we're supposed to get some answers out of her. All else fails, we can always depend on Evelyn. Considering the amount of aura she'd need to use it, I prefer not to. Won't be able to furnish her with our own today. Then we'll just have to be exceptionally successful. Big brother. Oh, oh, I love Phyllis and Sprite. I love it. No, go back. I was admiring Phyllis Sprite. I missed the text. Hey, Bella. Welcome to Beak. Aww. That's cute and it makes me uncomfortable. Beacon. I've missed you so much. Have you missed me too? Aw, your little sister is so cute, Wilson. Um, of course I am. Who are you? My name's Penny. I'm gonna be Wilson's partner for the ex for this exhibition match. Oh. Well, make sure to protect him and make him look good, and you'll be one of my bridesmaids. That's my prime directive as of now. Penny, I get that we're supposed to draw her into a false sense of security and what whatnot, but don't encourage her that much. The first exhibition match is going to start shortly in the first and second year arena. I repeat. Oh, is that your fight, big brother? No, the two-on-two -two fight is later. The first fight is going to be the one-on-one -on -one duel. Oh, I see. That means we can spend more time together. Um, yes, that's the idea. And five minutes in, I'm already dreading the rest of the morning. You and me both, buddy. Are you nervous? No, just something on my mind. I was trying to put it aside for the time being. That's good. I expect nothing but 100% from you. Yeah, about that. Weiss, don't take this the wrong way, but I think you should give up. You're serious. It's not because I think you're weak. I've seen you during training. It's just, just that this kind of small battlefield coupled with my semblance of your fighting style makes this a heavily skewed match in my favor. And my semblance doesn't have a power dial. It's pretty much set to incinerate. Well, all the more reason for me to fight as long as possible. Weiss? I'm not always going to be able to choose my engagements as a huntress. It's better if I take on such circumstances now, where I am in a relative safe environment, than out in the wild, no? So again, don't hold back. I want to fight Jacqueline Belinda Ivory at her best. Then I will. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. And, um, and, um, please keep my middle name to yourself. Only if you win. Bum, 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 bum. Ladies and gentlemen who managed to get inside, and those of you looking at this even network, welcome to the first exhibition match! Bringing you live commentary from the first and second year arena, it's me, Professor Peach, and my statuary co host, Professor Goodwitch. Um, hello. I can't believe she wrote me into this. We'll be keeping you entertained with commentary and juicy tidbits about our students as the fighting takes place. Speaking of which, I think our first two contestants are making their entry. Please give it up for Jack B. Ivory and Weiss Schnee. It's the Duel of the Ice Queens. Go Weiss! Kick her butt! Hey Ruby, everyone. D-Man, came to watch your leader lose? Yang, that's not very nice. How are you, Wilson? Penny? And, um, two girls I don't know? They're friends of ours from Vale. Please meet Mella, Bella, and- Please meet Bella and- Um, Bella, I don't think you introduced your friend. You're right, I didn't. Oh, who cares? Bella! My name is Stella. Nice to meet you all. I suggest that we find a better spot for spectating. Hmm, she's not wrong. 
Let me take care of that. Hey, make way! Contestants team coming through! Hey, leave the best spots for me and my big brother. Big brother? It's a long story. Let's just get to our spots. Um, okay. You're not going. I could say the same thing to you. Bella didn't really pay attention to when Howard pay any attention when Howard briefed us on your team. You're admitting your association with him? That our association would come out was a given the moment our leader allowed Bella to come here. I'm to make sure Bella comes back home afterwards. Which is why I'm keeping a distance from her. I suspect your other teammate is watching us at this very moment. That's kind of the reason why I'm hanging back here as well. I want to make sure you don't try to abscond with Wilson. That's beyond my capacities in this situation. Rest assured, we did not come here to take him from you. Not today. Even if you did, I would stop you myself, so why don't we try and enjoy the match? Jack is fighting. I don't enjoy meaningless bloodshed, but I should probably keep a closer eye on Bella than you in this situation. Ooh, Wilson said something similar. <coughs> the audience is hot enough, the seats are filled. Why don't you start us off, Professor Goodwitch? If I must. Contestants, tournament rules. You fight until someone is incapacitated or their aura is in the red. And begin. This is it then. The first move is yours. Are you really sure about that, Weiss? We can't have the ending of the match by knockout in one move, can we? That'd make for a terrible showing. <sighs> so be it. Don't say I didn't warn you, though. Oh my bunny, she's using her semblance. Already? Ooh, really? Is that bad for Weiss? It may be bad for us. I don't know if we're far enough from Jack. So it's an AoE semblance. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Ooh, I like that expression. Yes, it is. Still, it's been a couple of years since I last saw it. She should have gotten better at controlling it. This shall be an interesting match, then. Um, that's fine and all, but Evelyn? That was kind of my seat. That girl is... Is something the matter, fella? Oh, um, no big brother. It's nothing. Nothing at all. I love, I love Ruby's eyes, I'm sorry. It's supposed to be a serious moment, but look at Ruby's eyes. I love them. I like the little symbol we all have on our shirts. I'm pretty sure it's just pretty normal fire, but still. Two minutes, Weiss. An impressive aura. And what's this about limits? That's how long this match will last. Ooh, a bold proclamation from Miss Ivory. Is there any credit to it, Miss Goodwitch? Miss Ivory always scrolls to the scores in the top percentiles of my class, but so does Miss Sheen. To be honest, I have never seen the former user semblance, so at this point, it's an unknown variable. Well, I've started a countdown just in case, although... Hmm. Why is she not moving? You do not want her to move right now, especially closer to anything you're living. The air. Beg your pardon? Pay attention to the air around Jack's position. Are you going to move at all? No. And neither should you. Hm, cute. We'll consider this for your first move then. My turn. Twice, no! My, my dress! Uh, ice! Uh, 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 ice! Part of Mishni's gown has turned to ice. Did Miss Ivory do something? No, she did not move at all, but still, Mishni's garments turned to ice. Ooh, is this the power of Jack's semblance? You're getting too much into this. Ruby, you sure she didn't do anything? If she did, she was faster than me and the naked eye. 
than my eggs as well. Not that they're special in any way. This, her clothes turn to ice just by stepping closer to the cat. If she tries to get close, she will dry, die, or possibly be permanently maimed. Also, Burr, is it just me or is the air getting colder? Getting colder? For all the automatic dust chambers, twice use ranged attacks. I figured that out when John screamed at me, thank you very much. You weren't lying. One minute, twice. I can count, thank you very much. And I'm not without ranged options. Isn't your weapon a rapier? Merchanacer is much, much more. Yes! With a swing of her weapons, she launches a volume ice crystals, which stop midair inches from Miss Ivory's face. I think that's what she said. Which stop midair inches from Miss Ivory's face from falling ruinously to the ground. But they were already ice, and why did they stop? Because her semblance is not simply to turn things into ice. Well, now I know when they make you leader. You already got it. Um, I think so. But it's just because I've read something similar in a comic. Comic, book, school, who cares? You got a fine brain there. Can someone explain what's going on? Maybe later. The two minutes are almost up. I didn't know you could do that. For all the good it did. Ice dust is useless, isn't it? You know, I wish we could have fought somewhere else. This has been way too short. Excuse me? Two minutes, twice. Fud. We're gonna get two CG images in this episode, and they're both cool. How? What just happened? First she was there! Next thing you know, Ivory is in way she needs guard and her fist is in her gut! Weiss? I... I couldn't even... see her. You're strong, ways, but in such a small, empty arena, this couldn't end any other way. And with a first-class punch ticket to the nearest wall, Mission Zara is in the red! The match is over. What a day, sports fans. What a revelation. Professor Peach, Mishni is passed out. She may have a concussion. I know! Isn't that awesome? Oh, well, that was intense. More like awesome! You can actually control it now. The size, not the potency, sadly. Jack, your semblance is absolutely amazing. Such mastery of the law of physics. You already figured it out? It took me years to do it. Only 35% of it. And she wasn't the only one. I think people really should keep an eye on that Sean guy. Yeah, they should. Hey, no sulky faces at a victory celebration. Partner, what's wrong? I still don't like the idea of this being a show, but I just realized something watching this fight. It's nothing. Let's go. Did we say something wrong? I think I know it's up. Give me two minutes alone with him. Eh, how can you know when I don't? Because now you're looking at him differently than me, Carrots. You don't think he's angry at Jack because of how the match ended? Nah, he looked more frustrated than anything. You're not following him around? That girl is Big Brother's partner, isn't she? Howard told you as much. I wasn't listening, so I guess Big Brother would be sad if I made her go boom. I would think so. I really, really want to make her go boom. There's Mokiato. Oh, well, we know her actual name now. Well, I always do her name because I've seen the show, but... I don't know if anyone's watching this who doesn't watch Ruby, or isn't all the way caught up on Ruby. What about her? Her semblance is potentially lethal, but she knows it better than anyone. It's not easy making someone like that messed up. 
we'd better be off with someone whose semblance is inherently lethal. The right set of circumstances, right? The right set of circumstances. And anyway, we still have two more matches to observe today. Let us enjoy ourselves a little more. You never know what surprises may lie in wait. Yes, ma'am. Emerald, we're in public. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. We're not anyone's earshot, but you can just call me Cinder when we're not alone. Yes, of course. I thought you were against violence. Howard would tell you otherwise. That he would, so this is not about how the fight ended. I'm not against fighting each other for sport, I just don't like the idea of doing it for an audience. Weiss knew what could have happened, she's not a baby. So this is about you then. About me still not being able to- still not being up to par with any of you. I'm only going to slow Penny down in the next fight. I mean, I knew that already, but seeing you wipe the floor with Weiss kind of hit it home, you know? The difference in our strength. Which is perfectly understandable, no? You're getting better fast, also. You can't get as strong as me overnight. I know, I know. I just wish I could do something other than heal Penny in the next fight. Well, if you really want to, I'm sure you'll be able to. Excuse me? I'm talking with the same person who didn't run from an enemy that turned into a grim and suicide bombed him to win, am I not? Um, yes? Does that sound like the kind of person that will let something like, I'm smaller, weaker, and slower stop him? Heh, <laughs> when you put it like that, no it doesn't. I don't know how, but if Health and Penny is what you need to do in the next fight, I have no doubt you will be able to, Wilson. You're so cool. Excuse me? You are a seriously cool person. Am not. Are too. Partner. Now you're going to tell me there aren't a lot of people who call you cool. The last person who ever called me cool was my little sister, and she was a toddler. They do say children are more honest than adults, so I'm more inclined to trust her judgment. Seriously, how can you say things like that out loud with a straight face? The same way I didn't let my birth bother me. I just do what I feel is right. I wish I were more like you in that regard. And I wish I were more like you and others. So we're even? Nah, we're partners. True. We should get back to the others. You've got a fight in an hour, remember? Almost forgot. Almost. <laughs> and what I do over that hour is a mystery. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I hope you're still with us, and you'll be happy to know that Miss Schnee is mostly unharmed. There's nothing mostly unharmed about two broken ribs and a damaged Cossacks? C-O-C-C-Y-X. My mic partner, you're really killing my vibe right now. I'm your what partner now? Thankfully, my vibe has life support of expectation for the next fight. I must say, I have never seen a map with a stake so stupid. Seriously? On the right, we have two first years who aren't even first years, haven't gone even halfway through. Penny Polandina and Wilson D. Kabikis. Salutations, everyone! Um, yeah, what she said. Their opponents, on the other hand, are some of the top students in the second year. Give it up for Coco Adele and Velvet Scarlatina. Ooh, I'm excited! Will this fight be even shorter than the one with the machine in this ivory? Or will there be surprises in wait for us? The rules of engagement are the same as the previous fight, with the expectation that both members of the team have to submit or have their R in the red for the fight to be over. The area of engagement will be entirely will be the entirety of the garden and entrance area. The audience will now be escorted to a safe room. The fight begins in five minutes. The only surprise of the day will be the one written on your face when making your words read. Hmm, I respectfully disagree. We'll leave you to make your last preparations. Come on, Coco. Don't run, lover boy. I know where you live. Don't run? She was just making banter, Wilson. No, that's... It's nothing. 
I think I have an idea. Big Brother? Oh, I feel a little happy for once. Bella, here to wish me luck? Yes, and um... I, I also wanted to... And here's my good luck charm. Evelyn, in public, seriously, what happened to the girl who almost got a hand off when I touched her ears? She became your girlfriend, and as such, I won't be at stage by your partner in the cheer me up department, alright? girlfriend Hi, my name's Evelyn. You're one of his teammates, correct? And my partner. Anyway, we should go, Wilson. Yeah, thanks for the pick-me-up, Evelyn. Oh, you're quite Wilson. welcome. Seriously, Wilson? I'm, I mean, just because of what happened in the forest, I couldn't see why you were so down. To me, you're, you're really, really strong. And I wanted you to know that I'll keep on thinking that, no matter how badly you get your ass kicked, or Coco mains you with her mini gun purse, and I believe in you. You could have just said that instead of ambushing me. Is the idea of kissing me that abhorrent to you? Ah, no! I'm abhorrent to you, Mr. Not really. Wish me luck. <laughs> Bella, no. Must kill boobs. So sore. Considering you got bone damage, that's a given. Thank the gods for Aura. Professor Peach said you'd be fine in a couple of days if you take the supplement and eat lots of calcium and calcium and um bony foods? She gave me a list. <sighs> Honestly, that was such a bad showing on my part. She got me good. To be fair, her semblance is something else. In an enclosed an arena, she was disadvantaged. Oh, arena schmarinas. Sh no one is invincible. She had to have a weak point. I just couldn't find it before. I'm still not sure what happened, to be honest. Me neither. I mean, she has punched you, but she was so fast. She's never been that fast during training. Was that her semblance as well? Hmm. There must be a catch. Damn it, I wish the fight had lasted longer. Speaking of which, oh, want to watch a two-on-two -two fight? Ooh, ooh, yes, Penny's fighting. I must admit, I'm curious. After what you told me happened at the docks, I really want to see her in action. We can all watch together on... Wait, where's Blake? It's about to start. Yes. So, why are you here? The rest of my team is in the dorm. After making sure that Weiss was alright, I thought I'd record Penny's fight for Ruby. I see. Wait, just Penny? Well, I don't mean to be rude, but they're up against second years, and Wilson is not exactly the top of the first years in fight classes, so I don't think he will be in the fight for long. Hmm, we'll see about that. The audience has been evacuated to a safe distance. We are now ready to begin the second exhibition battle. Speaking of which, mind going through the special rules for this battleground, Professor Goodwitch? The battlefield has been enclosed by a dust powered force field. Entirely resistant, but in any case, reaching it will result in the offending team's disqualification. Still, students are encouraged to make use of their surroundings. During the vital tournament, they will fight on different kinds of battlefields, each with its advantages and disadvantages. You heard my colleague, colleague, let's start the countdown. Her positioning. Yes, I think I got a chance. Penny? Yes, Wilson? I'm taking Coco. Then I got Velvet. Good luck, Wilson. Wait, just like that? Here goes nothing. Um, Loverboy? I think you're severely underestimating me. Hand in your pocket and all. Oh, not at all. I'm aware of how strong you are, but... I... Considering how heavy your weapon must be in your choice of shoes, or I bet you're not exactly your team's designated runner. Three. Oh, now I see. Think you can run circles around me? Oh, not around you. Two. I was thinking more like away from that ugly face of yours. One. <coughs> Come again. Go. <coughs> 
Boom! <coughs> My natural dust collection did Mr. Ginkabeez just shoot fire from his crotch? No, he didn't. He just shot his weapon from his pocket. So it was a surprise attack? He charged his weapon before the fight began? Is that allowed? It's considered free battle preparation. No different than loading bullets. I see. But instead of pressing the attack, he used the surprise to run? What a shot. Oh no, you didn't. Hey, see? Wilson can do it. If by do it, you mean getting Coco angry. Well, that your concern for the well-being of my teammate is appreciated. But I suggest you think about your own situation. No, I get it. It's just that Coco gets angry. Well, that I may be a first year, but I'm not opponent an opponent you can defeat while paying attention to something else. Okay, I did not expect that. Told you he'd think of something. Hmm. I can appreciate someone who doesn't just rush forward into the fray. You can't really do much else during classes, can you? We're just sparring in a small arena. Let's hope he has the follow-up prepared. I doubt he'll be able to do that twice. You're hiding? Seriously? Is that how you want to do this? Keeping me out of your partner's way until time's up? There's nothing stopping me from going back there, Wilson. In fact, I might just do that in 3, 2, 1... Despite all my projections, first blood of the fight goes to Mr. D. Kabigas. Miss Adele is the first to lose part of her aura to an enemy. I was an ingenious move, hiding in the fountain's water. Yes, it worked. Still, I thought that hitting her with both hands from behind would make more aura than that. How big is her reserve? Anyway, now I got to press... Alright, no more worrying about property damage. Uh-oh. Oh goodness, we're probably going to have to help you pay the gun. I can't make you go that now! Okay, Penny is strong. I know, right? She's even stronger than I thought! She's completely shutting Velvet down. Why isn't Velvet using her weapon yet? Who knows, but she, can bear she can't keep on barely dodging attacks. Her R is going to run out sooner rather than later at this rate. But we can all agree that the one in deeper water is Wilson? Hmm, yeah. Maybe it would have been better if he hadn't survived this much. Coco is out for blood. Speaking of which, ouch! She got him! <laughs> Shit, a third of my aura is gone. Once I reload, that tree won't be there much longer. Like, I don't know that! No choice. I have to create some kind of breather, and that's the only way I can keep it right now. What is he doing now? I have no idea. Mr. Geekabee has stepped out of hiding. Is he going to surrender? <coughs> Don't think that I'll miss from this up close, lover boy. I do believe you're faster than a speeding bullet. Definitely not. But... <coughs> Are you crazy? Maybe a little bit. D dust? Mr. Decabegus filled all the pockets of his clothes with dust crystals. <clears throat> Outside of their protective, what is he thinking? If a single one of Miss Adele's bullets hits it. Lover boy, are you out of your mind? You're taking this way too seriously. Says the woman getting missed about me sucker punching her. That's diff this is just an exhibition match. And dust is just fuel or bullets, right? Truth tell, I didn't really want to do this, but Penny did. This is important for her. And I'll be damned if I don't get one hundred if I don't give one hundred percent never to everything I do, whether I like it or not. Otherwise, how can I call myself their teammate? Alright, I can respect that. I transformed it back into a purse. Good. But you do realize I can kick your ass with it, even while it's just a purse, right? Yes, ma'am, I am painfully aware of that. This is kind of disappointing. Why are you not using your weapon, Velvet? It's complicated. Suffice to say, I want to keep for the real tournament. No sense in wasting it on an exhibition match. I... I see. It would be wasted here. I understand. Well, I guess we should finish this then. Hmm, we've got quite a bit of aura there. We just took a beating and still got around a third of it, according to the scroll. 
right now it feels more like a curse than anything else, damn it. Go to the red already. Speaking of which, I wonder how... What's with you and your team? Velvet is losing? <laughs> go Penny. I bet she's not using your weapon. Ugh, what a screw up this fight has been. I'd better go help. Oh no you don't. Wait a damn moment now. We're still not finished. Seriously? Oh, you're adorable. Out of options is more like it. Letting myself be hit is only going to buy Penny a couple seconds. This doesn't help Penny. This isn't worthy of Jack and... She keeps on hitting Big Brother. Bella, this is a competition. Come on, Wilson, don't give up yet. That was noble and all, but... You look much cooler when you take your licks standing. This is not the Wilson Evelyn sees. You're definitely taking more of this more serious than me, lover boy. Good game. No, damn it. I can move, but can I move fast enough? Can I even see it coming? That's it. That's what I need. I need to see. I need to see. Sorry. Like I said before, I know what most of the text is because I've played through it 200 times. <laughs> Oh, so now you start dodging my attacks. I love this song, by the way. I know, right? Sorry about that. But your face, totally worth it. And now you're seeing... your semblance this is ridiculous what are you a video game character hey apologize to video game characters right now feats of might in times of extreme stress is pretty well documented it's a pretty well documented occurrence you know reality becomes stranger than fiction in the nick of time in the time of the mr decabemus awakens his semblance any ideas to its nature professor goodwitch mr decabemus was at the complete mercy of his opponent until a few seconds ago so it definitely boosted his reaction time somehow. His movements have his movements have also become faster. Whatever its exact nature, though, it's draining his aura. Oh no, you're right. It's going down pretty fast. So, what now? You gonna magically turn the tide of battle and beat me? Mm, I'd love to, but whatever this thing is, it's sucking up my aura like a cold drink on a hot day, and I don't have any attacks that can take you out. So. So, Penny, I'm coming, you little shit. He's he's running back towards Penny and Velvet. Y yes, whatever could he have in mind? Also, after his eye change, he started acting like their spirit is incredible. They're lasting this long. This feels somehow wrong. I'm the senior here. Penny, woo, over here. Wilson? He's still alive. Um, I mean, Coco didn't beat him yet? You're not going anywhere near my partner. Oh, it's fine. This is close enough. Woo, Mr. D. Kavia swings his whip weapon towards his own teammate and wraps around Miss Palandina's left forearm. But what is he? But what are you? Hey, Penny! Yes, Wilson? I'm not letting go if you aren't. No, yes. So, um, the only person whose aura is not in the red is Miss Paula and Dina. Yes, Mr. Decabigas is also unconscious, and his aura is completely gone. So, um, I guess the winners are Miss Paula and Dina and Mr. Decabigas? <sighs> yes. Um, hooray, and we should probably check on them. Did 
Did Big Brother just go crazy? Kinda. Anyway, um, we should probably get going. I doubt he's going to wake up anytime soon after that. You know, he's not getting out of our room after he does. Yes, you should go. But you're on my list now, boobs. Both you and Belinda. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Who the hell's Belinda? Oh. I didn't do her voice. Wait a minute. Who the hell's Belinda? You should probably go to him. Ow. Yeah. I don't know whether to be proud or angry. And if angry, at who? You've got one peculiar team there, Jack. It will be interesting when we meet them in the Vitals tournament. If Wilson survives this good witch, did you see her face? I hope the suicide bombing doesn't become a habit, to be honest. <laughs> Emerald? Y yes Cinder? Was that the boy- was that boy the new acquaintance you made? Yes, I didn't know he was so, but he seemed agreeable. <laughs> I haven't decided what to make of him yet. For now, just tell me more. <laughs> What's with you and self-harm? What's with you and sudden power-ups? <laughs> me? I didn't do anything. Sure, sure. Oh, oh gods, I'm still acting like Evelyn. I guess that's a side effect. You guess? I told you, that's all you. All I ever did was kickstart your semblance that time in the forest. We had a thrice damned minute here. I thought my semblance was aura transference. <laughs> oh man, not again. That's just the first step of it. The first step? Yes, the first time, as you said, you became able to, share, able to share aura with your teammates. This time, what did you feel? I, I felt... I felt like Evelyn was close to me, closer than ever before. And then? And then I was able to... I could see what Coco was going to do before she even... You're telling me I was using Evelyn's semblance? Not exactly. No, it was the lesser version of it. You will never be able to see into the past, and nothing beyond the next few seconds of the future. Still, that's... How did it happen? Why couldn't I do the same with Jack or Penny? The same reason why you can't share R with just anyone, Wilson. All three steps of your semblance have certain conditions that need to be met. I... I see. Wait, I can only share R with certain people? If you've tried that before, you know. Well, time to wake up. Oh my gods, no, not again. What do you mean three steps? What do you mean there's more? Get back here right now. Ah! That little stop with the damn cliffhangers already. Well, I don't think I've ever seen someone wake up with such a scowl on their face. Bad dream? Professor Peach? Morning. Um, where are my teammates? In class. They wanted to wait until you woke up, but I persuaded them to let me stay instead so they wouldn't miss a day of classes. Seems like you're making a habit of putting yourself in harm's way, aren't you? Um, I guess Professor Goodwitch told you about our situation? She did. And I must admit, it's refreshing to find a student so in touch with the destructive powers of God dust. I wouldn't call myself in touch. I just went with my instinct. Nowadays, most people only use dust in the crystallized forms. Bullets, crystals, cannonballs, warheads. Wait, what's that last one? But there's just something about raw dust and the way it ignites with the lightest provocation. Tiltillating, isn't it? Well, it's certainly useful. Indeed, we can try and maybe find. You should try and maybe find paths to victory that do not involve suicide bombing. Next time, you may not be so lucky. Yes, ma'am. I guess she's here so that Miss Goodwitch isn't. Feels very much like a scolding, but it could have been much worse. Wait, she said path to victory. That means we've won. Who's ah? But if you ever want to discuss unorthodox app, unorthodox applications of dust, you're more than welcome to come to me. It's been years since I've had students interested in going past the surface applications. And now I have two. Me and Weiss, right? Yep, although Lester's interests were more in the mist and theory of dust than the actual usage or growth. What did she just say? 
Ah, an expression of gobbersmacked surprise. Lovely. Professor, did you say? Oh, I did. Let me be more clear for you, Wilson. Wester Van Gogh was one of the best students I've ever had the privilege of teaching here at Beacon. <laughs> Professor, are you? You know my relationship with Wester, don't you? In her tirade about your lack of a survival instinct, Linda let it slip. This isn't the first time something like this happened. After extra and after extracting information from her, including your sidelining, I decided to share what information I possess. I'm sorry to say I never noticed you dealing with the criminal underworld either, though. Why? Well, he was very careful. He even moved off campus, too. You no, know, I mean, Headmaster Osborne forbade us from investigating the matter. He didn't want to share any information with us. Oh, that. Well, Mr. Decabeus, I may be a teacher of the school, but I'm not a member of the little inner circle of wise men. The fact that I didn't know about your situation until yesterday speaks for itself, no? Also, I don't agree with his methods or vision. Why, we could even define what I feel for him as outright repulsion. I never thought I'd ever hear his faculty members speak about Osman like this. Repulsion. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of my headmaster by, of the headmaster myself, but why? Hmm, I guess you may have already heard it from your teammates. He is more than just a minister of the school. For the moment, let's just say that the way he does his second job makes me want to puke. You're one. You're my students. You're in danger, and I want to do everything in my power to help you out. That's all there really is to it. Speaking of which, you should probably reach your teammates for lunch now that you're up and about. Tell them to look forward to my next lesson. I I will be sure to tell them that. Good. It will be a very interesting and useful lesson for your current plight. After all, to defeat an enemy, you must first understand them. No. conversation has had was way more surreal than the one I have myself in my dreams. How is that even possible? Oh, yeah, lunch sounds like a really good idea right now. There's a lot to discuss. And I think, even though it's still technically Sunday, we're gonna save off. We're gonna end off this episode. Because it's been a while. This has been a long one. This story event was super cool. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.